Anthony Harvey here with Coach Rio. Canfield pulls out a district uh, district semifinal like win. What do you think? Get district <laughs> semifinal win over over Salem. Long night, long night. Coach, you come out. It's a back and forth game. Fourth quarter, you outscore them what 14 to six, I think. What did it take in that fourth quarter to make some adjustments and get some get some space? I think sometimes we as coaches get a lot of credit for things. Uh, you know, it wasn't any adjustments we made. Uh, we just tried to make sure they were still having a lot of confidence, uh, making sure that, hey, you know, we haven't shot the ball well all game. We have faith in our shooters, I, I thought. Uh, you know, Cammie Ritz made a couple big shots. And when she makes shots, we become a lot more confident. And, uh, you know, she really had a tough night, but boy, she stuck with it. You know, Carly Funding with some big plays. We got some key rebounds on a lot of people. Uh, Marina Caney came off the bench. I thought played really, really good minutes for us. Gave us a spark when we were struggling. Um, you know, it was just, a, I think, a total team win. These two teams met last year in the districts. This one felt a little bit different. You weren't favorites. Salem came off an upset of Perry. What, what was it like to play a team that was coming in hot and you knew that they were going to bring energy into this game? I think, I think you know, um, they, they really played loose and free. And I think when everybody thinks you're going to, because you're a higher seed, you're going to have an easy time, I think mm. Sometimes you play with a little bit more uh, tenseness, and I thought, boy, they, they really played loose, and, and they played really well. And we had seen that in the games coming in, so we expected this kind of battle because they're not an 11 and 13 team, right. you know. And he's an excellent coach. I've known him for years. We've battled for years, and you know they have still have really good players, and they have players back from those teams that made the regional and district, so they still have that experience factor. Um, and so we expected exactly what we got tonight. You brought up Carly Fleming, second leading scorer tonight with 11. You need every bit of it. What did you see from her tonight in this stage? Carly Fleming is one of the toughest kids I've coached in 29 years. Um, she's been dealing with some health issues all year, playing in pain, and she never complains. She's tougher than anything, and she's not scared of the moment. And she always gets the tough assignments uh, with Riley. Uh, that's a really tough assignment, and watching them two go at it uh, was kind of a treat for the fans, I think, because, boy, both of them left it out on the floor, and boy, uh, Carly came up big, and we expect that from her because that's her capability. All right, let's talk about St. V's. You got to watch them because you were the second game, playing there on Saturday at 7. You know, obviously they're the one seed. They're really good. What were some things that you saw that you think are going to be big obstacles from that the, they, uh, they they're, they're an excellent rebounding team. Um, they ex play extremely hard. They're well coached, uh, and they're going to pressure you for 32 minutes. And the name of the game is you got to limit your, your live ball turnovers, you got to be able to rebound with them, and you got to be ready to play that physical brand of basketball that they bring. Um, you know, we're excited for the opportunity. We're going to heal up here in these next two days, and we're going to give it our best shot. We know how good they are, uh, and we respect them, but we, we know we're, we're going to get a great effort from our girls, win or lose. All right, Canfield going for back-to-back -back district championships. Coach, thanks for the time. We'll see you again real soon. Thanks for coming out.